All right, welcome back. Another day in the life of the Grimworts. So uh, we're gonna reveal to you here a new part of the fleet. We, um, so to give you a little backstory, uh, a couple months ago, somebody uh, needed my Ford F-250 more than I did and they never brought it back. So it was stolen out of the Charlotte area and to this date, it has not shown up anywhere. So through, you know, not a battle, but you know, back and forth process with the insurance company. We got the settlement pretty close to where I agreed with it and we got the money. And so then we went through a whole nother process to try and find something to replace it. Um, I was a little picky on the replacement vehicle. There were a few things I did want and didn't want. Um, basically right now, I, and I didn't really go that route to order a vehicle because I don't know how long it takes or if you can even order new truck so this truck is it's it's a diesel four-wheel drive crew cab short bed just like I had um, but this is a brand new truck 2022 um, we did buy it used it had 7,000 miles on it but uh, yeah here it is so this is what you're gonna see in future videos and uh, if you notice it it's not the same as the Ford but we're just gonna give you a quick walk around just show you some of the inside some of the little features it has and some of that stuff all right here it is so as you saw on the fender it says duramax 6.6 .6 liter which that's you know allison transmission this is the truck um 2500 hd it is four wheel drive and when we get back there it has it's a new package new trim level the x31 it gives you uh rancho shocks and um shields for the bottom of the truck shield i think it's a transmission uh shield oil pan something else but it, it just gives you protection under the vehicle but um so yeah so we'll open it up and uh like i said we just put some seat covers on it but this is uh this is the new one and i mean you can you know if you're really interested in one of these trucks you can go online and pretty much see everything but it's got all the new technology it's you know so i got all the stuff it's got trailer brakes integrated it's got lots of bells and whistles um the back the back has um, these seats lift up so you can store stuff underneath. And then we just got these seat covers, but you can pull that back and it's got storage in there. Um, so there's ample storage back here for, you know, whatever you want to carry. So you don't really need a toolbox per se, but. And there's a lot of room for people who are like longer legs to sit here where before yeah, the leg room is it huge wasn't a here. lot of room in between the seats, but it's pretty pretty roomy now so this is a diesel and it has the def that's the new you have to put diesel exhaust fluid um there's the x31 package which is just like i said it's another trim level for skid plates and shocks i don't know if you can see the gmc and the lights if they got everything they really it says sierra and the tail lights i mean gm they just went out on all the bells and whistles you got step ups when you get in the bed yeah to get into the bed so this has the this is my favorite this has the six function tailgate that everybody's um talked about the only bad thing about this tailgate that i've heard is that if you have a hitch in there or receiver hitch to pull something got to be careful you can't lower this down or it'll smash into it and I'll kind of show you so it so the top button opens this little this little part okay so this is like a bed extension part or a table I mean it can be used as a table there's a little lever you can pull it up so this is also part like if you need to hold something in this is another little thing that you know another added feature so then, then if you want to use this as a step, do I have, do I have it all in All right. Do I have to 
What was that? I don't know. All right, we're figuring out. All right, so let me, maybe I got to. I think you put the big one down first. Oh, okay. And then so hit there's the... your normal tailgate, which, you know. And then, then you can put that down and you push this button. And then this is a step. And then it also has a grab, grab handle in the bed. So you can get in and out pretty easy from the ground. Cause this truck does sit a lot higher than the old Ford. So I'm guessing this was a problem. Now, the big thing about this thing is if you look here, if you have a trailer hitch in it, it's gonna smash into your trailer hitch down there. So you gotta be really careful when you open this to take your hitch out, do whatever. A little cup holders on the back here if you sit. So this also has all this, it's got a lot of stuff, like these lights light up. You have cargo bed lights. It's got a 110 plug in the bed or whatever you want to do so um yeah. we'll have to do a video one evening when show all the lights on it yeah so now that's that and that's that it does have backup cameras which is nice so now you don't have to have anybody standing here but anyway this is this will be just kind of the this is just the walk around to show you like i said we just put seat covers in it because we're going to try not to i'm going to try not to <laughs> his anniversary gift <laughs> just where oh yeah a little one nice and roomy Automatic, everything. Power. <laughs> power. Power, everything, which is weird. If you're not used to having power stuff, you know, especially like this is a kind of a work truck. I'm, I didn't have a lot of power on the Ford, so this is, but now a lot of this stuff is all standard features where when I had that, old, that Ford was a 2005, it didn't have all those bells and whistles. But anyway, in the future, this is the truck you're going to see. lights on the <laughs> little shaded here but it's kind of hot for filming all right well that's the uh you know we didn't do this when we did the fleet we never did the ford so we now we're going to make sure we did we included the gmc now into the uh into the fleet video but uh yeah so we've only had it what a week not even not mondays even a, week. a week not even a week so we love it um look at that exhaust yeah we just we haven't put a <laughs> lot of miles on it yet but we're gonna all right so if you want to leave a comment ask some questions leave a comment uh feel free to ask anything i might be able to answer i might not but uh if you like this comment share subscribe and we'll see you on the next one